Hi there, welcome back to my channel, Retro Suzy. I'm Suzy. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around and um, check it out. And if you're returning, welcome back. I have not been posting as much lately because I've had some life experiences that I explained in the last um, in the last video so um, I'm just trying to get back into things and I am very very excited about upcoming plans that I have so um, this particular haul happens to be just a tiny <laughs> um, what's it called Mobile Accessories Best Sellers Sponsored Haul. <laughs> and um, Timu was kind enough to send me, I got to pick out some things that um, looked really fun and uh, they provided those for, for me with my for my honest uh, opinions. And uh, I wanna share them with you. So let's get started. Hold this up. So this is the phone holder, the car mounted phone holder. So this part attaches to the car. Oh, you squeeze this. You squeeze these to move this. Oh, okay, yeah, so each one of these you squeeze in here and then you can move it. And then this goes onto here. I guess you loosen that up. Ah, there we go. And then you just tighten that up. Yeah. It looks pretty sturdy, so we'll have to see. I'll have to record some video when we're out and about in the car. Speaking of the car, I'm going to have to get a new car. <laughs> so the air conditioning broke. Um, there's some other things that are wrong with it. And then that happened. And then uh, the check engine light is on and apparently the whole computer in the car is messed up. So I'm not sure. It, it, it's not worth it. It's a 2014 Fiat and I, I just have to get a new car. And if you know me, you know that the very thing I the last thing I want to do is buy a car <laughs> but apparently I'm gonna to have to buy a car so I don't even know if I'm gonna mount that until I find out <sighs> I just hate buying cars does anybody else are you guys like that do you uh, because I'm a researcher so I have to research every possible car so I have to educate myself on all the different cars and I'm thinking about getting a hybrid and I'm thinking about getting a Kia but I don't know I heard Kias were getting stolen and I <laughs> it's see this is what I'm talking about so then I have to go research everything to find out and then the whole haggling for the price, and it, it's just too much, you guys. It's just too much, I hate it. Okay, next thing is this electronic organizer bag that has two, two zipper pouches. And this really long pouch here. So that's one zippy pouch, and then this is the other one. Oh, and this one has 
three separate little pouches here. Oh, I have a big pouch here and then two smaller ones here. So that's nice. Um, so I'm going to visit my son in May in Portland. So I'm very, very, very excited about that. And I wanted to get some things that I could, you know, be organized with. It's, it's only for a week, but I just, you know, I thought this would come in handy for all the especially for, you know, filming and, you know, just, <laughs> excuse me, all that stuff. I've accumulated so many cords, it's ridiculous. I don't even know what they all go to. And I worked in tech and I, but everything comes with a cord. So I just have so many. So this is a selfie light. And it's just like that. And then there's this piece. Oh, it clips. It's a clip. Oh, there's a little. <laughs> so you can clip it on the top of your phone. So that just screws on, and then this tightens that. And then oh, I'll come with a little flip -flip. Oh, inside of the nodes. Whoa, mama. This is scary. <laughs> That's better. Not as bright. Um, so it goes between 3000K and 6500K white LED to warm LED. Oh, yeah. So it has different colors. <laughs> it's so scary. It is scary. But I'm using my phone to film right now, so I can't clip this on there. I'm going to clip it on top of my computer. Oh. Clips. So that'll be interesting. That'll be nice if I need more light when I'm recording and that will fit in my little holder thing. This is a folding desk stand that apparently not that hard. So it's like this. So you can put your phone like that. Like that. Yeah, so that's nice. Doesn't charge or anything, it just is this little stand. Folding desktop phone stand. And then I stuck mostly to what they had in the campaign, but I think I did go outside of it a little bit, but I did get this, just a plain iPhone 15 Pro Max case because I did get a new phone. <laughs> because I, as I said in my last, video, I can now, since I don't work there anymore, I can say that 
I did work at Apple, and um, since I was leaving, I did have to use my discount. So I had to get all the things that I needed because, you know, I was retiring after 12 and a half years, and I'm not an early adopter. Even though I work at Apple, I always keep things until, you know, they no longer are working for the my needs or uh, if something, you know, needs to be fixed or, you know, whatever that may be. Um, so I'm not an early adopter, but it left me with a lot of things that I needed to get before I left. So I did that. Let's see what we can fit in here in our little case. Yeah, um, nice. Yeah, just little cords fit right in there. And let's just stick that in there. Now this part isn't super flat, so that one may not work. Let's try it. I'm just gonna stick it right here. You can get it in there. <clears throat> so that's kind of, well, I mean, there's still room, plenty of room for other stuff. And trust me, I have a lot of stuff <laughs> that I'll be taking, so. Okay, so that's the sponsored haul stuff, but I do have some other stuff from another haul. I wonder if you, do you guys know if you do use this? Like, like what if I used it on my car and then I wanted to switch it to a new car? It's got this sticky stuff. Hmm. Have to see. Okay, so I think that's everything. Yeah, there were only six items in that haul. Okay, you guys, I was so excited about getting this. Next um, order. And we'll just start in on it. Yeah, so I'm just going to do another order because this would be so short. <laughs> yeah, but so I also, because my insurance, uh, my vision insurance was going to be going away and you don't get that in Medicare unless you do Advantage and I hear that that's not good. So let me know what you guys think um, down below because this is all new to me. But anyway, I got in my last eye exam and I I used to wear contacts. I started wearing hard lens contacts when I was 14, way back in the day. I started wearing glasses when I was in fourth grade. So at 14, I started wearing contacts, but I had 20-20 vision in my left eye and I had like 20... I don't know at that time how bad it was, like 2,600. It was bad in my right eye. So glasses were always a problem because I would have one that was clear glass and then this one that was like super thick pop bottle. This was before they even had like the thinner ones that they do now. But <clears throat> after my 40s, this eye isn't as good as it once was, but it's still not anywhere near as bad as this eye. Like I can watch TV at night. Um, I don't always have to have my glasses on because I can see well enough 
with this eye. So anyway, I wore contacts. Well, one contact. It, when I turned 14, I started wearing contacts. I just wore one for years and years and years. I only needed one contact. And then, like I said, when I got like in my 40s, this eye started, you know, the vision, you know, just deteriorating a little bit. So now I, that needs to be corrected too. So I have progressive lenses and at work, um, because I would be working with, you know, things that were up close and then things that were mid range. And it, it was just easier to wear glasses and take them off to see up close because I'm legally blind in this eye. So I can see up close. I'm very, very, very nearsighted. So I can see up close with, with this eye. I can read things, you know, that are really small with this eye. So I would take my glasses off. So, but when I had a contact in, I couldn't see up close that well. So I would either have to move my contact, which I did just naturally without, <laughs> you know, it would just happen. And it's so funny because I saw somebody at work, I don't know, a couple months ago, um, and I saw him move his contact with his <laughs> finger. And I was like, did you just move your contact? Because I don't ever see anybody else do that. Um, so you could read that? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, I do the same thing. <laughs> so funny. When you see somebody out in the wild doing a weird, quirky thing that you do too. But anyway, I say all that. See, I'm just chatty. To say that when I wear the contacts... There's a magnification that I can use, which is 225. So I got these glasses, which are kind of sort of retro looking to read up close. It's, I can't use it when I don't have my contacts in it. It's like, but I, I thought those are kind of cute kind of purpley these were 289 and they're still 289 and they come in a bunch of different colors blue green or like a teal brown a lot of different colors so got that and then I got some more iPhone cases <laughs> so I got a purple one I'll admit it I like to match my iPhone cases to my outfit <laughs> This one, I've never had this kind of case before, but I think I saw favorites with Laura that did had a similar type one where it, I, so it has a front and a back. I think it just pops. Oh, it's on both sides. Okay, that looks much better. <laughs> but, so the phone goes in that, and then this snaps over the top. So it protects snaps in yeah. so I've never used this kind before so we'll have to see like I said I'm filming with my phone so hopefully it'll be good so Got a purple one, and then I also got an orange one. So those are kind of my two colors. <laughs> I think orange, is, you could say, is my favorite color, and then 
you know, I have purple hair, so. And this one's just plain. Let's see, the cases. Four. The purple one. It was three ninety eight, but it was partially refunded. And I don't know exactly how much was refunded for that. Because it was a credit with a bunch of stuff on it. And then the orange one was two dollars and eleven cents. So now I have three <laughs> bow cases that I can try out. Oh, and then I got these anti-slip rug grips. These were $2.30, and there's eight pieces. They just go... Um, you know, like that on the corner. Each corner. Because um, we have a rug <coughs> in the kitchen that is slipping around. Got those. Oh, and then, so, you know how I've been filming outside and I have the hummingbirds out there? I got a ring hummingbird. It doesn't hold very much, but um, it's like a hummingbird feeder, but it's, you know, like I said, doesn't hold a lot. And so I kind of set it in the top of my egg chair thing. And I noticed that the hummingbirds were actually going over to that in addition to their regular feeder and and drinking out of it. So one day I held it up on my finger and he actually came over and started drinking out of it. And I could not believe it. I felt like I was a Disney princess like it was. It was magical. And what was crazy was the wind that he created from his wings. It was just like blowing on my fingers. It was just so magical. So I say all that to say that I ordered a set of these that are a little bit bigger that um, can hold a little bit more of their um, uh, the sugar water that I make for them. And so I'm just so excited to feed them. So there's four of them in here. And there's the two of the yellow with the red and two of the red with the yellow. Oh, there's this kind. So there's two different flowers. And then this kind. So I'm just so excited because I want to hold it like this. Or even like that, I guess. Um, and try those and see if I can get them. And then I found out that there were other people at work that actually do the same thing and that they have hummingbirds that they come and land on them and so yeah I'm really gonna try and do, get that going those were four dollars and 98 cents and they were partially refunded but I don't know exactly how much okay and so I heard I can't even remember now. I, it might have been, hey, everybody, Aaron, talking about how everybody, and I don't know how I missed this, but apparently everybody got mood bags and were putting all their pens on the mood bags. So, of course, I keep seeing all these cute pens and I've never gotten them because I never really have a place to put them. So... I don't even know if this is the bag that they're talking about, but this is the bag that I got. And it is a mood bag. It says mood. 
um, it's just a little canvas bag that has these handles and then it also has this strap. So it's big enough. It might be big enough to hold my laptop. Let me just try. I do have a big laptop. Oh man, it's not. Oh, wait, maybe. I can barely fit it in here. Like, I could force it, but I can get it in there. <laughs> so, but no padding, so that's a little scary. Um, but it would fit my iPad. Yeah, after I get the pins in it, I don't think it's going to fit. So this was only four dollars and eight cents. It's just a nice canvas. So tell me if this is what you guys were talking about. <laughs> this is the case or the bag that you were talking about. Because I ended up getting way too many pins. And I also plan on picking up pins when I travel now that I'm retired like I'm gonna be a traveler well I am traveling to see my son in Oregon and I haven't been to Oregon so I lived in Vancouver Washington for a year in the late 70s and then I lived in Eugene Oregon for a year in the late 80s so and I haven't been back since. So I'm really excited. I love the Oregon coast. The Oregon coast is the most amazing place to me um, in the world. Of course, I'm not a world traveler, so, <laughs> but I absolutely love the Northwest as far as, you know, the giant redwoods and the the wild coastal um, area. I've, I've always gone to Portland because I had an uncle and aunt and uncle that lived there and cousins. And so the very first time I saw the ocean was when I was seven and we flew out there and I'll never forget it. It left such a memory burn in my mind because, um, you know, I grew up in Missouri, so I hadn't seen the ocean. And I just remember being just blown away by it and it's been a love affair ever since i absolutely love the ocean it just fascinates me so anyway back to my movie <laughs> so um this is one of the i'm too busy working on my own grass to notice if yours is greener <laughs> I love that because, you know, there's a lot that I need to work on. <laughs> so who has time, you know? Oh, and then I just thought this one was cute too. It's just a little wheel and it says, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with that throat. And it says now I'm going to, and you spin it for all these different do my best keep moving go to bed 
drive safe, overcome my fears, <laughs> stay strong, get up. <laughs> anyway, I just thought that was cute. So now we're into the whole pen thing. <laughs> okay, this is, apparently this is a song. Um, though we adore men individually, we agree that as a group, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what I thought was cute. Mindset is everything. <laughs> That's me. Oh, this is a good one. Because if, if you're anyone who's ever been through struggle, if you've ever had to deal with, you know, having to plan and not have things and set goals and, you know, make wish lists and, just work your way slowly, slowly through things, um, then this will matter. And it does to me. Remember when you wanted what you currently have. It's just another way of saying, you know, be grateful for what you have and for how far you've come. And... I always want to remember that because it's been a journey. <laughs> um, and then this little rainbow <laughs> alien craft spaceship. <laughs> and then if you're a writer or an English major like me, You'll appreciate this one. I'm sorry, but it's true. Anybody who's taken, I'm silently correcting your grammar. Anybody who's taken copy editing classes and um, just editing classes, you know that, I mean, I, I once you're in that editing mindset, you do that with everything. You're constantly editing. I, I don't think you can ever get away from it. Whatever you're reading, whatever you're, you know, consuming, you're editing. And you're constantly correcting people's grammar. Oh, this is a good one. I like this one. I'm too clumsy to be around fragile masculinity. You can kind of see a... Don't come for me in the comments. And I got this one for my daughter. And I, I have another one coming for my other daughter. Mother of cats. I just thought that was so cool. <laughs> if you're an office fan, which I'm a huge, oh my gosh, my fingernails are horrible. I'm trying to get them healthy so I haven't been wearing anything on them. Um, yeah, we're huge Dunder Mifflin fans. Oh, I didn't know that these were rose gold. I'm not a big rose gold person, but I am a big hummingbird person, and I just thought these were cute. I'm just not a rose gold person, but I got mesmerized by the hummingbirds and didn't even notice that they were rose gold. Oh, I haven't been telling you guys prices. The pins are all like between 67 cents, like this one was 67 cents. This one was $1.34. 
Thunder Mifflin was 248, but it was partially refunded. I don't know how much because it was part of that big group of partial refunds. <laughs> but the remember what you wanted, remember when you wanted what you currently have was $1.79. You know, so they're all in that price range. Oh, and then I got some more of the little. I just think these are so cute. These little sparkly flowers. Just so you can get an idea of the size. That's by your head. So I got the green one and the yellow one. I just think they're so pretty. And I like this size. I wonder if you could do, you know, like if you did space buns. That would be cute. Well, I'd have to work with it and get the idea. Because I'm having this whole hummingbird moment. There's this necklace. Which is a pretty good size. But I like that it, it has different, you know, you can make it shorter or longer. I like that. And then I got, I got some little hummingbird earrings. Let's see. So these aren't the exact same earrings as that hummingbird, but they are. They are cute little hummingbird. And I like these because they go the opposite ways. <laughs> And a lot of the times your earrings you get don't go the opposite way and that drives me crazy. And then one more hummingbird thing. <laughs> this is a um, ankle bracelet. It's kind of thick. I think it's stainless steel, but it's very similar to this. It's a little different, but very similar. And then another pen. Oh, okay. So my daughter and I made stickers for a while. And um, one of the ones that we make looks very similar to this. And I'm going to be probably using some of those in my summer junk journal collection. Um, some of the stickers that we already have designed. So that will be fun. And that little guy was 89 cents, but it was partially refunded. Oh, and the hair, hair clips, they were $1.34 for the, a pair, but they were partially refunded. And I'm not sure how much. And then the, um, these little earrings were a dollar thirty-four. These were sixty-two cents. Oh, I guess that's a bracelet. This was ninety-eight cents, and it is stainless steel. It was also partially refunded, but I don't know how much. Oh, and the necklace. Was a dollar. This was a dollar forty-seven, and it and it's also stainless steel. <laughs> this is appropriate for me for my retirement and kiwi. I just want to hang with my dog. Speaking of kiwi, she's on her little pillow. <laughs> right there, sleeping, sleeping soundly. So do you guys just like put the pens 
just like in any kind of, you just put them on there with them. Am I, I don't know, somebody's got to let me know what, how, it's, what this thing is because <laughs> I don't know. I got all these and I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But it's funny because I told, I was telling my daughter, I'm like, so I'm going to get a canvas bag and I'm going to get pens that I'm going to put on it. And she's like, I want to do that. And I'm like, okay. And then, and then, um, I had my son and his girlfriend over and I was, I, when I got this uh, bag and I was telling him that, you know, there's a lot of pins and stuff in here that I'm getting and I'm putting them on this canvas bag. And she's like, I want to do that. <laughs> so, it is a popular thing. But I think, you know, a lot of us don't really have a place to put the pins. Okay, and then I don't know if you guys remember, but I got this black dress that, um, what, let's see, this one is... Twelve ninety eight, but it was partially refunded, and it was refunded first a dollar twenty four, then ninety eight cents, so two twenty two, and it was originally what did I say? Twelve ninety eight, so a little over ten dollars, and um, it's thin, but again, summer in Phoenix. Uh, but I had a, I got a black one like this, and it, I think it also has this like little ruffle sleeve action. Um, it's thin, lightweight, but it's just a cute. Um, it's an XL, so it's a twelve. But like I said before, I just like having little dresses that I can throw on in the summer. <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, in Phoenix, you know, because it is so hot here, and if you go anywhere, it's just so hot. Okay, and then I've been seeing these, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> this thumbs up, it was a dollar ninety-eight, but it was also um, refunded, and I don't know how much it was refunded, but I just think <laughs> Just thought that was fun to have. Okay, and then I got I went on a t-shirt thing. This is so soft. It's 60% polyester, 35% rayon, and 5% spandex. Super soft. Cosmic Dreamer. It looks a little different than the colors in the um online. It's a little more faded, it looks like, online, but I do like it. Like the blue is a little more navy, and online it seemed a little different, but I still really like it. And then... My daughter's like, Mom, she, I think she's worried about me wearing this out in public, but let's eat kids. <laughs> let's eat kids. Let's eat kids. <laughs> Punctuation saves lives. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> I think she thinks it's like so in your face. Let's eat kids. But it's the point of punctuation. <laughs> okay, and then on oh, that shirt, that Cosmic Dreamer shirt is seven nineteen. The um oh, I don't see the let's eat kids, but it's probably around the same price. <laughs> and then this is just a mixtape colorful mixtape this is also an extra large 60% polyester 35% rayon and 5% spandex and again 
It's very, very soft. I love it. This one, the Let's Eat Kid one, it's a little shiny. It's still soft. It's not bad. It's 95% polyester and 5% elastane. This came in a I don't have, I don't want to, I don't have to, you can't make me, I'm retired. <laughs> Which I love. That was $8.48. And then I got this one and I'm not happy with it. Retirement schedule. Do whatever the heck I want, but I don't know if you can tell that the way it was placed on there, it's not, it's like curving. You can really see it in person. Like it, it's going like this. It, so I'm getting my money back on that one because I'm really not happy with that one. But this one, I like, this one came out good. And I really need to slow down on the mugs because I think I have enough mugs now. And then oh, there's a few things I don't see here, but I'll have to look in some of the other bags and see if they're there. And I'll just have to do them on the next video. Oh, there is this. So this is overalls that are... purple. I got a pair of the overalls. They were too small. So the, this, I think these are extra large, size 12. The ones I got before were large and they just didn't feel right. This one, it's a little different than the ones I got before. It has this like pleat up here in the back. The fabric feels pretty good. Um, it's softer than, than the first one that I got, the sort of mustard yellow one. But this one looks like it'll fit a little bit better. I wanted it to be really loose. It does have really wide legs and they will have to be hemmed. <laughs> but I thought that looked really super comfortable. And then this is also an extra large, very, very soft. It feels like the same. This is super soft. Yeah, 60% polyester, 35% rayon, and 5% spandex. And it just says, be real, not perfect, which I love. And then this one, I went, Oh, it's an XXL. I wouldn't normally get, and I may just wear this for sleeping, but 95% polyester and 5% spandex, but it is really soft. But what I love about this is I had this car in the 80s, in the early 80s. Oh, that's weird. Oh. That's just the way that it's sewn together, but isn't that cool? I had an orange beetle. It looked exactly like that. I loved it. I wish they had orange cars. I had two orange cars. I had an orange Mon Monza in the 70s, and then I had that orange beetle in the 80s. And then now all the cars are silver, black, white, like beige. I don't know. There's just not a lot of color anymore. I miss that. <laughs> okay. And then last and also least, <laughs> 
so I don't know if you remember, but I got a um, a mushroom light that I won. It was either on farmland or fishland. Um, anyway, it's a neon uh, mushroom sign. And so I wanted to get one of these on-air signs. And they made this look like, it says it's red, but they made it look like it's orange on line. Okay, watch out. You can't you hardly tell. Here, it looks bright red. It looks completely different in the in there. But the part about it that I don't like is that it comes with this and I specifically got this kind that doesn't have the holes in it because I wanted to stand it up on one of my shelves over there. It doesn't fit in the little slots. These slots are squared. It, I've tried everything. It does not fit. So this is way too wide to fit into here. So I got my money back. I got my ten dollars back or what it says it was fifteen forty eight, but it must have gotten a discount and then I got it completely refunded because I was so disappointed. So I don't know if I can file this down or not or what. I don't know. I don't know what to do. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. <laughs> it's very disappointing. Um, I was really looking forward to that because I have the mushroom up against in, on the inside of that and I was going to have this down next to it and then I was thinking of recording from that angle but I don't know we'll have to see now because that's just very it's a bummer so but I'll, I'll try to fiddle with it and see what I can figure out um and then anything that isn't on this order that I don't have here, I will also put in the next video if I can find it, if it's in one of the other packages. Um, I'm going to have to add in that I forgot to say all the stuff about, about Timu. Okay, so I'm going to have to do that. But So I just want to thank you guys so much. This was a long one. <laughs> I just want to thank you so much for being here, for watching, for um, subscribing if you subscribed, for liking, for commenting. I really, really, really appreciate it. And um, I have been working on the junk journal collection that I'm going to be coming out with this spring. If you're interested in junk journaling, I do have a few videos from the very beginning of when I started my channel. Um, a few junk journal videos and I'll, I'll link those so you can um, check those out if you're interested. And then um, I'll be recording and I have been recording uh, the junk journal collection that I'm doing. Um, like I said, I mentioned in my last post or my last video, um, we did have someone that um, we really cared about that passed away. And so it's been kind of rough the last couple of weeks trying to, you know, process that. And, um, you know, get through all this. And so I really appreciate your support and your understanding 
and patience <laughs> with me getting videos up, but we're going to get up and running. And now that I'm retired, like I said, I'll be able to post more. I want to post at least twice a week if I can and, and even build up to more than that. Um, but I did need to take some time. And plus, just after working for 12 and a half years, you know, I, I needed to take a little bit of time to just sort of decompress and do some projects around the house that I've really been wanting to do, organizing and that coffee bar that I've been working on. It's still not done. <laughs> I've been working on it since I started this channel. Um... But anyway, thank you guys so much for all your support and all your understanding. And I really, really, really appreciate you all so much. And I just am so glad that you're here and that I'm part of this community. And um, I have more coming. So uh, until the next time, I hope you'll be there. So long. Uh,